Come on up. Quilty, where's your nose? Where's your nose? I don't know. I see your hand. You were coloring with the chalk today? You got lots of snow. Hi. Hi. Who's that? Baby. It is a baby. Is that baby cold? Baby. Baby. Baby in there. What's he, <coughs> what's he doing? <coughs> oh, so sweet. No, not, not Teddy. Yeah. No. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Hi. Hi. Good morning guys. I guess I should say afternoon. I think it's, I don't even know what time. Um, Colt is snapping. Shane is out with the dogs. Aubrey is playing with some Play-Doh. And I just got done getting ready. And uh, so this day is sort of shaping up pretty good. Shane let me sleep in, which is really awesome. Um, I find that uh, if he lets me sleep in, normally I'm the first one awake. And um, so I'm getting, you know, the kids up or whatever, and um, I have to wake him up to say, okay, can you go hang out with them so I can sleep, and I never actually really get to sleep, but today I did, so I'm feeling really refreshed and really good. I had a very late night last night. I just um, surprisingly got a burst of energy, and I was up till about quarter to two. Um, yeah, so it was nice to be able to sleep in. So I'm trying to get my um, vlog from the past couple days uploaded. My computer, our internet is just slow as mud right now. And um, when I, I tried to upload it overnight, which is what I usually do, and I got up and it still had like 200 and some minutes to go to upload. And then um, at one point, um, somehow the web page got clicked off of and I still had like 75%, I had 75% uploaded, and so I basically lost everything. So I'm trying to re-upload it again, and my laptop just died, so I'm not having very much success. So I don't know how well Veda is going to do, but I'm attempting. So anyways, um, I am um, I'm going to put some laundry away. Um, I need to iron. I hate ironing. That's like one of the chores that I put off as long as possible, but I like a lot of button-down shirts and like crisp sort of like dressy clothes, um, and so does Shane, so we have a lot of things that need ironed, so despite not liking to iron, we like iron clothes that need iron, go figure. So um, I may attempt to do some of that. We might go to Shane's parents' house today. Um, I'm going to play bingo tonight with um, my sister-in-law and Shane's cousin. Um, there's like this, it's a TV bingo thing and it's been around forever. Um, and so basically you buy bingo cards at different like convenience stores and stuff. And then they have like live bingo on TV and this guy calls the numbers. And so people all over the area are like, you know, dabbing their cards and stuff. And you can win money, so anywhere from like five thousand dollars. Five thousand is like the most, and then, um, then there's like less that you can win. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we've been doing it the past couple of weeks, and it is so fun. And Aubrey's gotten into it as well. It's really helping her learn her numbers. Um, my grandma actually taught, um, started playing bingo with us, uh, so that we would learn our numbers as kids. So bingo's just a lot of fun. So every once in a while it is, it's fun to play. I guess we don't do it every single week. Kind of every other week has kind of been how it's been averaging, but it's fun. So anyways, I need to throw in some laundry. 
I should iron. I gotta put towels away and just kind of get things cleaned up um, because we are probably going to be heading out and I hate coming home to a dirty house. So we will get that going. And oh, one other thing. Sorry, this is kind of chatty. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you. Um, I would love to know if any of you do capsule wardrobes. I I'm someone who loves a lot of possibility in my wardrobe. I'm just a possibility person anyways. That's who I am by nature. I love lots of options. But I've been very overwhelmed by clothes lately. And I'm not liking a lot of the pieces that I have. Um, I think I bought... I haven't went shopping since last summer, actually, really. Um, and that was like to get, you know, new t-shirts and things like that. But... So, some of the pieces that I've had, I've had for a very long time. I'm just really tired of them. And um, I find myself gravitating to the same pieces over and over and over again. And so I've been sort of toying with the idea of capsuling my wardrobe. And I'm thinking I might do it more just like for my, you know, my stay-at-home mom uniform type thing. Um, not necessarily like my church clothes and things like that because I have a pair of dress pants that I wear pretty much every week <laughs> and I just mix it and match the different tops that I have. I'll have a lot of um, dressy tops that I really like. Um, if my life was more conducive to wearing dressy clothes, I would love that, but it's not. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I need like really easy washable pieces. So um, yeah, so I don't think I would capsule that, but I am sort of just kind of toying with the idea of, of doing that. So I'd be curious to know if any of your thoughts, if you've done that, um, and what's that look like for you. I think I'm going to go, um, later today when we're at my in-laws, I might go like, on Pinterest and have a huge board of wardrobe ideas. Oh my goodness. Like if I could have all those clothes, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go on there, get some ideas, think of things that might work for me for the spring and summer, and just kind of go from there. So that is what my day is shaping up like. Yeah. So I probably better get going and doing something because I haven't done much of anything today. This right here is why I do not like spring. I mean, I love spring, but this mud is crazy. Um, this is the laundry room. You can probably hear the washer in the background. But this is mess from the dogs. We have four, four or five dogs right now. I don't even remember. I think it's four. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like an outside door, and that's the door to the garage. And they bring all this mess in. It drives me crazy. I, it makes me, it's hard to breathe looking at this mess. Oh, I don't want to clean this. And I'm sure Shane doesn't either. But he's going to have to. Ugh. So for lunch, I'm having some cucumber drizzled with some balsamic vinegar, a piece of salmon, an orange, and a big glass of cold water. Well, hey there, friends. It is now almost 10.30 at night. Excuse my greasy-looking face. Um, I've taken off my makeup for the night, and I put um, my moisturizer on, and it's really thick, lovely kind of moisturizer, but it <laughs> leaves my skin um, kind of greasy, so excuse the look. Um, it's uh, We are in the midst of a bit of a snowstorm. Um, it's kind of unbelievable what it looks like outside. There's so much snow. The roads are very slick. On our way home from my in-law's house, we actually saw um, one car that was off the road, and then um, there was a fire truck, or an ambulance, sorry, an ambulance at another point, and then we heard about another accident that was in our little town. So roads are really slick, and I'm just glad we made it home. Um, I'm just sort of feeling kind of inward um, right now. I'm um, just kind of wanting to read, I think, and reflect and think about just some different things that are kind of rolling around in my head. Um, I don't know, I'm just feeling a little introspective, so I think I'm going to just take some time to kind of quietly reflect and maybe do some reading and... Um, 
you know, I don't know, sometimes just moments hit you where um, things are just, I don't know, you get contemplative and you think about the future and your dreams and, um, I don't know, just, just inward stuff, so that's just kind of where I'm at at the moment. I have some popcorn and I have my little bag of books beside me. I think I'll show you. I have my, um, I have this little bag from 31. Sorry about the darkness. Um, this little bag from 31 that I absolutely love. I wish they still carried this line, but in this uh, binder right here, I have a lot of home management, um, printables and articles and notebook paper. And anytime I want to do anything home related, I kind of pull this binder out. So I've got notes and notes and notes of just articles that I printed from the internet and, um, meal planning things. And, um, it's just kind of my home management. It's not my home management binder, but it's my home management sort of collection place of articles and things. So I've got some books, um, my Tremelty Mama cookbook, um, my Erin Condren notebook. I am using this to write uh, Periscope notes, so I follow some really inspiring people on Periscope, and I just started writing down notes from some of their, um, from their scopes, because there's some really good information that's being shared, and I tend to, um, it, things go in one ear and out the other with me. So I've always been someone who's written down like sermon notes and if ever I'm in like a lecture or listening to a speaker, I'm constantly writing notes because I would just completely forget it. So that's kind of how I'm using this notebook. I have a couple more books in here. Um, this one is called Dwelling. I haven't finish this one. I bought this at a women's retreat quite a while ago, um, living fully from the space you call home. It's pretty good. Um, it's from one of the, I don't know if she's one of the founders of Mops or what, but Mops is indoor, is Mops endorses this book. So Mops is Mothers of Preschoolers. So maybe you might be involved with that. I have tried to actually um, lead a mops group in our area. And then some of these books are from the library, so I won't pull them out in case the library name is on it. But this little one is actually Mr. Rogers' um, quotes and stories from his life. And then this is Say Goodbye to Survival Mode by Crystal Payne. have the book on Audible, but I wanted to look at it from the library, like a hard copy. And then this book here is Hands Free Mama. So that's just some of what is in my little bag. I took this with me to my in-laws tonight. I didn't really have time to go into it because we got there sort of late. And then we um, had some dinner and then my sister-in-law and I left so that we could go play bingo. So that is just sort of a look into my day and what all I did. I'm sorry it wasn't um, very long. Sometimes it's hard to pull out the camera when Shane is here. He kind of is um, supportive of vlogging and stuff and he often will say, oh, we should have caught that on tape and stuff. So I'm just kind of just getting into the habit of trying to pull it out and share with you snips of our life and our day. So I just need to learn to get better better with it. So I hope, <laughs> I hope you'll kind of stick around with that as I kind of get more comfortable and, um, let you into our life a little bit more. Um, our life is not at all perfect. You are going to see laundry in my home. You're going to see dirty dishes. You're going to see things on the floor. I'm a busy mom with a business and, um, kids and a dog, <laughs> lots of dogs and a husband. And we are just kind of making life work in our teeny tiny little house. And you're not going to find perfection here. You're going to find just very normalness here. So, um, if you ever see that and you think, ugh, well, I'm sorry, that is just our very real life. And, um, I'm more concerned with making memories with my kids and, and just being present in life than making sure that all the laundry is put away at the exact right time or that every single dish is done by the time I go to bed. Um, I just am wanting to live life fully with my family and make those moments count rather than um, I just want to put people before things, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so 
anyways, that is uh, it for today. I hope you guys all had a really great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Here's Aubrey's outfit for church today. She's got these super cute little fox shoes, and this really fun patterned dress with little woodland animals on it. Um, I actually got that for about $4 from the grocery store. It's Joe Fresh brand. So you're going to church, huh? Mm hmm Yeah, are you going to go to Grandma's afterwards? Yeah.
there, friends. Happy Sunday fun day. Yay! Um, it is about 4th... No. Oh my gosh, I can't tell time. It's 3.37, but it's feeling like it's going to be the end of the day very soon because I feel like 4 o'clock is that time of my day where I'm going... It's almost over with because <laughs> um, the kids go to bed shortly thereafter. We're starting to get into our evening and routine around 4. I usually come out into the kitchen to do dishes. And there's my little buddy over my shoulder. I'm not going to show you him because he is uh, just in his diaper. So we ain't doing that on this channel. So, um, yeah, so I spent the morning cleaning. Shane took Aubrey to church. The reason why Colt and I didn't go is because... He was going to go training after church, and he was going to go about two and a half hours away. So he would, um, yeah, he's going to be about two and a half hours away, which, um, so he took Aubrey, and she went home with my in-laws. They have a car seat for her. Colt and I could have went, and we would have just went to their house for the day, but it would have been a lot of monkeying. We would have had to transfer Colt's car seat into their car. They would have had to take in two cars because not all of us would fit in one with my father-in-law and stuff. So, anyways, all that to say, Colt and I stayed home. I did a lot of cleaning and um, just had one of those kind of, I can't say it was relaxing because I really was kind of working all morning, and um, there's no end in sight. There's just never an end in sight, I feel like. I kind of want to just sit and relax for a bit. I think we are going over to our friend's house um, for dinner. They asked us over for pizza. So that'll be fun. Um, that's at 6 o'clock. So Shane's going to hopefully be home. Well, he'll have to be home before then. Um, and my mother-in-law is going to come and watch Colt. In one of my last vlogs, I shared that uh, for our small group, Aubrey and Colt were going to come with us. But on the way home... Well, actually, when it came time to leave from the small group, um, Colt threw the hugest tantrum of life. It was awful. We carried him out, just kicking and screaming, and it was just because he was exhausted. He's so tired, and he's not used to being up that late. And so on the ride home, he screamed the whole way, and it's about a half-hour drive. And we like ended up calling my mother-in-law, trying to um, just put her on speakerphone, because he usually hears her voice and kind of um, just snaps out of whatever you know he's tantruming about. Um, he just loves her to bits. So um, anyways, he ended up falling asleep about five minutes before we got home he was so exhausted so anyways all that to say he's not coming with us because he's crazy no he just really needs his rest so um, I am going to continue to just try and get things all set up for tomorrow so tomorrow is Monday it's back to school day the start of a new week and we just I try my I try and do my best on Sunday to set us up for success during the week so basically I want to make sure that we have kind of enough groceries to do um, lunches and breakfasts and things like that. And as of right now, it's Mother Hubbard's cupboard. There is like nothing to eat here. And I'm not even kind of being dramatic. Um, we've got a, some meat and stuff in the freezer, but um, as far as like crackers and fruits and vegetables and things like jam and bread and you know, all those staple items we just are out of. <laughs> so, um, my mother-in-law is going to stop at the grocery store for me and pick up a few things that I need for tomorrow, and then Jane and I will probably get some groceries early this week, probably tomorrow. Um, so I need to write a list of what we want, and I'm going to kind of do a bit of a menu plan for the week so that I know what we need, and then I need to wash Aubrey's snowsuit, um, She's still in a snowsuit. Her class goes outside for an hour every day. So, I mean, we've still got snow. Um, and there was a big snowstorm yesterday. <laughs> um, so, she's her snow pants are just soaking wet and covered in sand and mud. and Because um, we're in that spring phase where things are melting and then we get more snow. And it's just a mess. So, anyways, I've got to take care of those. Um, I want to just, you know, just get everything set for um, tomorrow. I usually plan on Sunday nights as well, so hopefully I will be able to show you a bit of that and give you a peek at what my last week's, well, was, yeah, last week's spread kind of looked like, so you can see that. But anyways, I will stop rambling because I feel like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> um, 
I gotta go do something and I don't feel like doing it. I need coffee. If I had coffee right now, though, this woman would probably not go to bed well. So, I ain't gonna do that. Plus, we have a French press and I don't know how to use a French press. We also have a Keurig. But I need to, um, it was given to us, so I want to actually do like a deep clean of it. So I need to do that, and I haven't. So there's no coffee for me. I'm just going to have some water. I'm done rambling. Okay.